Our experience with mobile phones has remained the same since 2007 when Steve Jobs launched the iPhone. You know that I criticized Apple CEO Tim Cook a lot on this issue. If Steve Jobs were alive, I think mobile phones would have gone through a radical change long ago. It seems that Apple will not be able to make this change. So, who will do it? Another company called Humane, founded by two engineers who left Apple, is my candidate. It is a company founded by two engineers named Imran Kavudri and Bethany Bongiorno, who made interface designs for important products such as iPhone and iPad and also made important contributions to the operating system during their duties at Apple. The company has received an investment of $230 million so far. They received the first investment from the famous Salesforce founder Mark Benioff. Current investors include OpenAI founder Salma Atman. So, what is the new product released by Hamani? Why is it a candidate to destroy the mobile phone? Perhaps more importantly, there are investment opportunities for us as well. What does this product tell us about future technologies? I will explain it all in this video today. If you are ready, we start. The name of the product released by Qmain is AI Pen, that is, Artificial Intelligence Needle. The device consists of two main parts. There is a battery supporter at the back and the computer at the front. There is also a small battery inside the computer. The booster at the back keeps his energy high. There are also many accessories to attach the device to your collar, t-shirt, or other clothing. So what does this device basically do? It changes our relationship with the artificial intelligence universe and at the same time it saves us from most of the things that a mobile phone would do. And while doing all this, it drags us into a completely different experience. For example, a song comes to your mind, you command it and that song comes to you. They made an agreement with a music website called Target. So how do you listen to that music? Of course, you can wear Bluetooth headphones if you want, but on the other hand, it provides you with a musical sphere in such weather and you can listen from there. As you can see on the screen, skipping to the next song, returning to the previous song, turning up the volume, muting the volume are all done via laser images reflected in the palm of your hand. Of course, what it would be like to be seen somewhere like this, looking at your hand and trying to adjust the music with strange hand movements, reflecting something there with a laser, is a matter of separate discussion. In addition, you can ask questions just like in ChatGPT, whether by voice commands or by showing images. For example, here he shows a handful of almonds and says how much protein is in them. The funny thing is, ChatGPT is wrong here. He says there are around 15 grams. However, there are 2 to 3 grams of protein there. In the example here, it says when the next solar eclipse will be and where we can best watch it. He says you can watch from Australia. As far as I understand, this was also wrong. This is where the device chat encounters GPT's unique problems. I guess that these problems will decrease in the future as chat GPT develops. Apart from this, you can also use spontaneous translations. For example, in the example here, the person in front of him is speaking Spanish. It is translated exactly into English and your answer is sent to the other party in Spanish. Of course, this is a demo. It is difficult to be sure whether it actually works this effectively and quickly, but its claim is solid. On the other hand, you notice that there is a camera on the front of the device. You can also use this camera as a regular video camera or still camera. You can record the surroundings. You can convey what you see around you there. When the camera or microphone of the device works, the small light you see in front of it turns on. They call it the light of trust, light of confidence. Thanks to this light, people around can see that you are being recorded. This is a solution created to protect privacy. All the photos, images you take throughout the day, and all the data it collects from you are collected in the databases at the company's headquarters. They say there is security here and it is completely private to you. They say no one can see your private information. There you can edit, download, and send these videos, just like in an app store. All this happens there. The device says that it will also be with us in daily health applications. For example, when I eat something, is it healthy for me? Should I eat it or not? The device helps me with all of this when I hit my own calorie goals. Yes, OpenAI, the artificial intelligence needle developed by human, is such an interesting technology. In my opinion, this is an important technology. Because there will definitely be a new extreme artificial intelligence that will replace or complement the mobile phone. One of the most interesting examples of these technologies is Ray-Ban Stories, which Facebook developed together with Ray-Ban. They actually intend to change our relationship with the world of artificial intelligence, but the interfaces they use are different. If you look at the investment side, the technology behind these edge artificial intelligence devices is generally Qualcomm chips. I guess Qualcomm has a bright future in the coming days. Because while companies such as NVIDIA and AMD produce artificial intelligence chips for central servers or PCs, Qualcomm specializes in small devices such as mobile phones. Here he gets that expertise, here he carries his AIP and also the glasses that Facebook developed together with Ray-Ban. So can battery AI mobile phone launch? I don't think so yet, to be honest. First of all, what we watched is just a demo. I'm not sure if these things work this effectively in real life. Even there, you see, artificial intelligence makes mistakes. Also, for example, does the laser really reflect that clearly on the hand? What kind of effect does that ball of sound in the air have on people? 
It's hard to know all this. On the other hand, this is a product that attaches to clothing with a magnet. It can be stolen, it can fall, it can get up. In other words, such physical experience problems may also occur. Deliveries of the device begin in 2024. You can pre-order now. Prices start at $690. On top of that, you need to buy a $29 communication package. This makes it easier for you to access centralized artificial intelligence solutions, such as ChatGPT. On the other hand, as you have seen, you can actually use this device like a phone. When we look at it this way, we do not have a cheap device. So, when you decide to abandon your iPhone and switch to this one, you spend almost as much money as an iPhone. And would it be as good a solution as the iPhone? I'm not sure if this explains it at all. But still, as I said, it is an important innovation candidate and these two friends are from Apple and I am sure you noticed that this is a very Apple-like presentation. Everything looks very Apple-like, from the clothes she wears, to the accessories of the product, to the color choices. It makes me take all this for granted. I'm not sure if AI will be successful, but surely some devices beyond the mobile phone will connect us to the digital world and, more importantly, to artificial intelligence platforms. In this context, it is a solution that I will follow closely. Unfortunately, it does not work in Turkey. You cannot order from Turkey either. That's why we can't try. But recently, American Phenomenon friends bought it and started trying it and playing with it. So far, people's reactions to the product have been a bit controversial, a bit strange, but new products always feel like that. Maybe he will sit down in the future. Strange features like this magnet needle scared people a little, wondering if it would fall, get stolen, etc. But there are already such concerns about all new technologies. The most important issue for us investors is to find companies that produce such new devices, organizations that support the hardware of these new devices, as in the case of Qualcomm, or the software, as in the case of OpenAI, and see these as investment opportunities. Because it is certain that, although the iPhone is not dying yet, new products will soon come to our lives instead, and perhaps these will create such different interaction opportunities with artificial intelligence that we will no longer need mobile phones. Speaking of investments, NVIDIA's balance sheet comes out after the close on Tuesday evening. A very important balance sheet. NVIDIA was this year's biggest winner, let's put it that way. I wonder what kind of balance sheet NVIDIA will bring. What will be my investment strategy in this regard? I am sharing it with my YouTube members today. If you haven't joined yet, be sure to join. If you want to know which is the best platform to buy this type of high school certificates, I use QuantFury a lot. Because the transactions here are completely free and there are many mechanical high school bills available here. You can buy and sell here, free of charge, and easily step into the world of investment. I definitely look forward to your questions and comments. Stay with love. Goodbye. See you later.